Sabi na nila, this is the best camera that Huawei has to offer for 2023. And yes, you heard it right. This is the Huawei P60 Pro. The camera system on this one is really different. And probably na surpass niya one of my favorite go-to daily driver, the Huawei Mate 50 Pro. And in this video, pag-usapan natin from top to bottom, ang kanyang design, ang kanyang camera, ang kanyang gaming performance, everything that you should need to know before you buy this Huawei P60 Pro. More details after this quick intro. So hi guys, I'm Paracelis from the Gadget Psychic and welcome back to my channel. So this is the Huawei P60 Pro, the best for 2023 and I have been using this for the past three weeks and I'm really blown away. And kita natin that this one is also equipped with Kunlun Glass. And here's the pricing, the Huawei P60 Pro, the 8 gigs of RAM and 256 gigs of storage would come at 58999 and the higher variant, the 12512 would come at the price point of 69 999. And I heard for pre-orders, meron pa silang freebie na Huawei GT3. And another thing, you can also trade in your older Huawei devices. More details on the description box below. But before natin pag-usapan ng design, pakita ko muna sa inyo ang kanyang quick unbox. So today guys, i-unbox natin the most premium phone for the early 2023 from Huawei. And this is the Huawei P60 Pro. And this is the Kunlun Glass variant. Everything you can exploit on the app gallery. This is how it looks like on the sides. What I have here is the 8 gigs of RAM, 256 gig of storage, and the color is black to open. This is standard packaging. So this is how it looks like. The Huawei P60 Pro. You have your big camera sensor over here, plus another two. You can see the word Xmage over here. You can see the Xmage logo over here as well I, and i can say the matte black here is definitely nice it feels so premium and when it touches some light you can see some glitters before i show you the whole phone let's see other things you have your sim injector tool you have your clear jelly case looks nice added protection is very welcome so we have your standard type c cable so we have your standard a to c cable and your 88 watts of fast charging brick by the way what I admire about this fast charger from Huawei is that you have a C port and the A port. Putting this aside, let me give you a quick phone tour. So underneath, we have your loudspeaker, Type-C port, microphone in, and force your SIM tray. So your SIM tray supports two nano SIM, or you can put a nano mem card at the back. On the side, it's pretty clean. You have your antenna bands. On top, you have your loudspeaker, noise canceling mic, and of course, your IR blaster. On the other side, you have your red power button. And of course, your volume rocker. Up front, you have your console camera. And of course, your curved screen glass. Now, probably for me, this is one of the bigger jump the Huawei uh, upgrading from 65 watts na charger na may uh, Type A port. This time around, meron siyang dalawang port. So you have a Type A port and a Type C port and a faster charging speed at 88 watts. So this one's also equipped with PD, so pwede mo charge ang yung Huawei na laptop na 65 watts. You can also charge your uh, MatePad at 35 watts. And you can even charge your other gadgets and devices. So hindi lang siya A port ngayon, pwede mo rin siyang gamitan nito, ang C port. But please remember na hindi niyo pwedeng sabay gamitin siya, okay? So mababali yung isa. So please be careful not to use them both at the same time. Now, since charging na pinag usapan natin, this one has a 4,850 mAh of battery supporting up to 88 watts na sinabi ko. And of course, a 50 watts na wireless charging capability. So, tinry ko naman siya i-charge from 10 to 100. It takes me around mga 38 minutes to complete the full charging cycle. Which for me is a step up. It's a faster charging compared to my Huawei Mate 50 Pro which can support up to 65 watts. Now, for the past 3 weeks, nagamit ko tong phone na ito, sobrang okay ang battery life. I mean, I start the day at 100%. Mga, well, in on ko siya ano, mga 6 a.m. in the morning, uh, using it for Facebook, for photography, for gaming, for watching videos. At the end of the day, I think nasa around 30 to 35% meron pa ako at around mga 6 in the evening. So, pretty not bad. So, of course, how can I forget na i-rate siya sa battery stress test ni PC Mark? And naakuha siya ng 14 hours and 14 minutes na screen on time based on a 50% of brightness and 60 hertz na screen refresh rate upon my settings. Now, itong phone na ito is being powered by the Snapdragon 8 Plus Gen 1 na gawa ni TSMC. We know na ang capabilities ng mga chip na gawa ni TSMC is far cry better than the ones na gawa ni Samsung. So, upon rating it sa Antutu Benchmark 9.6.1, akuha siya ng 1.03 million points which is very good score 
para sa chipset na ito. And if I break it down, this is what I got. And by the way guys, hang hawa ko dito is the 8GB of RAM and 256GB of storage. And further strengthening itong phone na ito, it was able to get this score dito sa Wildlife 3D Mark IV GPU test. And ito naman benchmark score na dito sa Geekbench 6. Apa may daily experience dito sa phone na ito, doing every multitasking na kailangan ko bigay sa kanya, kayang-kaya naman ni handle. And all the apps na kailangan ko, din na-download ko lang siya directly dito sa App Gallery. Now guys, downloading from the App Gallery is pretty easy. All you need to do is just go simply here to App Gallery. And I highly recommend that you go here to top apps so you can see all the apps that uh, people are using or the most important apps that you might need. So let's just say, for example, I want to download YouTube. All I need to do is just click install. The following apps you need to be installed to run YouTube. It needs to download Gbox. Don't forget to allow this one to install so you can use YouTube properly. You'll be needing Gbox for you to be able to run Google Drive, Google Maps, and other Google-related apps on your smartphone. And you'll be seeing Gbox on your home screen. Just don't mind it. Now let's just try YouTube. After installing, you can run YouTube smoothly on your Huawei P60 Pro. Now let's just try it on Google Drive. So right now, I can access my Google Drive thanks to Gbox. So pag-usapan natin ganun design, itong Huawei P60 Pro ko na hawak is color black and this one adopts a anti-fingerprint na feather sand glass design. And ang kanyang texture dito sa likod, I can say sobrang soft and matte finish siya. And pag inilaw mo siya, makita mo parang mayroong mga, mga shimmering na diamonds na kumikinang pag nailawan to ng gusto. And there's another one, ang tawag niya, Rococo Pearl, which I don't have. But I think that one is a lot more beautiful. But ako, happy na ako dito sa color black na meron to. Now, ang display ng phone na ito is a 6.67-inch na quad curve LTPO na OLED display. And I can say, no, it is really different na curved din ang taas and ang sa baba. Normally, makita mo mga flagship phones, curve ang kanyang sides. But this one, four na sides, lahat curve siya. Giving you a more better user experience when you're swiping from top to bottom or bottom to top. Ito phone na ito is being protected by kunun glass sa harap, alin yung side frames, and glass back. So since sinabi naman natin this is a kunun glass, I don't need to make some torture test for this. Nakita na na sa Mate 50 Pro. So kung yun yung panakita kung paano ko tinorture of Huawei Mate 50 Pro with kunun glass, link up here. So ito ay try lang natin i-drop from here. Yun, nakita natin, i-drop natin. So, okay. Walang problema. Wala ka naman makikitang cracks or dents after yung drop ko dito from my studio. So, since this one is a OLED panel, ang display niya is definitely nice. Ang ganda ng kanyang display. And one of the things na appreciate ko dito sa screen niya is ang kanyang punch hole camera, which is not taking a big space dito sa aking screen, unlike dito kay Mate 50 Pro. So, watching all my favorite films dito sa phone na ito, ang ganda ng kanyang display. The black is blacker. Especially when you're watching yung duty after school. Mostly, puro dark scenes yan. So, makita mo, black na ito is very rich. And pag lumita ang mga kalaban, makita mo, parang litaw na litaw sila. Very punchy and very sharp ang mga, mga characters nila. Especially when you're, parang kumikinang sila. It really gives you a good view experience dito sa phone na ito. So, watching all others like anime and your mga basketball games, okay. I have no problem. Ang sarap mano dito. And especially lang na loudspeaker dito is quite loud. So when you're listening to music on Spotify or watching videos together with your full family or playing your favorite games dito, I can say your kind of loudspeaker is quite okay. Though, siguro medyo mas mahina ng puti bahagya dito sa ibabaw dahil limang malilit na butas at sa ilalim, anim na malalaking butas. So, for me, ah, mas malakas ng kunti ang sounds coming from the downfiring speaker as compared to sa ibabaw kasi mas malaki ang butas dito. So, kung sinagad naman ang sound niya dito to 100% ng kanilang loudspeaker, okay. Uh, magbabarkada kami lima na nun dito sa phone na ito. Kayang-kaya. Okay na okay. Rinig namin lahat. But if you want a more immersive sound experience, I would highly suggest na i-pair mo siya together with the Huawei FreeBuds Pro 2. Ang ganda ng sounds nito with active noise cancelling and transparency mode it will for sure take your music clipping to another level. So one of the best things that we do in our smartphone is of course, uh, check our social media. Swiping on TikTok, on Facebook, on Instagram, smooth. Kita natin dahil sa kanyang 120 hertz of screen refresh rate. Every swipe on your favorite social media app is definitely smooth as long as magandang iyong internet connection and stable.
So by the way guys, this one has a level 1 na wide by CTP level. So meaning pwede kumano ng mga HD on your favorite na online streaming apps like Netflix. So bago ko makalimutan guys, this phone is IP68 rated. So meaning, pwede mo i-submerge tong phone na ito sa ilalim ng tubig for mga, around mga 1.5 meters for 30 minutes. Basta fresh water, hindi salt water ha. Now, papakita ko lang sa inyo ang aking gaming experience dito sa phone na ito. So I did play two games dito, two of my favorite games. Call of Duty Mobile and of course Genshin Impact. So sa Call of Duty Mobile, may knocks out natin lahat ng graphical settings dito to play roughly mga 1 hour. And after playing for 1 hour, sabi ko siya, parang ang smooth na experience ko dito, especially together with the all new na quad curve glass ni Huawei P60 Pro. So most of the time, sometimes it's swipe ako from left to right, right to left dito uh, when you're playing Call of Duty Mobile. And mafufeel mo na hindi sumasabit ang yung finger. That's one of the property na probably for me it's very helpful dahil I'm a fan ng mga curved glass pero as far as I'm concerned, this is the first time nakagamit ako ng quad curved glass and I really appreciate it especially when you're doing it on gaming. So, ang so touch response ito sa phone na ito is definitely good and the screenplay is okay. The sounds coming out from the speakers to Huawei is immersive. Emerging mo mga gunshots, ang lakas, malutong. And the best part of all is very immersive and very engaging ang gameplay dito sa Call of Duty Mobile. So after Call of Duty Mobile, nilaro din natin ang Genshin Impact. Nilagay din natin sa all high settings and 60 frames per second dito sa game na ito. And the first 15 minutes ng gameplay is okay. Smooth naman experience ko dito. And, and as I play along after the first 15 minutes, masifeel ko na okay naman. Pero there are some times na habang naglalakad, makikita ko may kunting skip. So, yun na napansin ko during the gameplay. And sometimes during the heavy battles dito sa Genshin Impact, mafeel mo may kunting frame drops. So, that's as far as uh, what I can say. What I experience dito sa Genshin Impact. But overall, the gameplay is still good. But expect some frame drops dito. Na sana makorek nila after a few updates dito sa EMUI 13. And napansin ko na uminit siya dito after playing for one hour na Genshin Impact and si Call of Duty Mobile. Sa Call of Duty Mobile, mas hindi ganun kainit. Si Genshin Impact, it has reached around 43 degrees Celsius dito sa area na ito. So you might need to use some uh, cooler to cool this one down a lot faster. Now guys, I guess it's time to talk about the camera na itong phone na ito. And this one starts with a 48MP na main camera sensor with OIS and 48MP na telephoto lens with 35 times optical zoom and it has a 13MP na ultra wide lens. And this one can shoot up to 4K and 60fps. And again, front facing shooters and 13MP na ultra wide lens which can shoot up to 4K and 60fps. Lato si Huawei P series has come a long way from P10 all the way to P60. And the P series has been really making some revolutionary cameras ever since. And the P60 Pro has the world's first ultra lighting camera. And this one has the industry largest full path light intake, which has a 10 size adjustable aperture from 1.4 to 4.0. Also has a high transmittance lens group, and it also has a RYYB sensor. And did you know that this one has 191% better light intake as compared to an iPhone 14 Pro Max. And the P60 Pro also has the world's first ultra lighting telephoto camera. And this one has the largest light intake periscope telephoto lens. It, and it starts with a ultra lighting lens group of aperture 2.1. Then it has a long travel slider zoom. Then at the end, it has a RYYB sensor. It, and another trivia, this one has a 488% more light intake compared to the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Probably you'd be wondering where the laser sensor of this camera is. Normally, it's another hole here on the smartphone. But did you know that it's hidden under this ring? Really amazing how they were able to pack it inside this camera sensor. And what really amazed me on this smartphone is how Huawei was able to make it so thin. The camera bump is definitely one of the thinnest I've seen in a so powerful camera. Now you can see this diagram, the light coming in, then angling 90 degrees all the way. For other smartphones, normally they'll stop here. But for Huawei, they made a way on how to make it thin by pointing it down. The Huawei technology is really amazing. And digesting everything I just said, how about let's just simply check some of the photos I just took. Now, taking on some outdoor shot, I was able to go out to the fields here in Pandi Bulacan. And I honestly, I was really surprised with the depth that this one can take. The photos are really clear. And yeah, zooming it all the way, 
and checking some of these photos. It's really clear. This one is 10 times zoom. And the photos it was able to take is very, very sharp, very, very clear. Almost like taking a one-time zoom photo, just zooming it all the way in. And another revolutionary thing is that, can you see the zoom? It simply looks like a dial from the camera lens where you can zoom in and out. Looks cool. Now out there in the field, this is an ultra wide lens shot. This is a one-time zoom shot. This is a 3.5 times zoom shot. This is a 10 times zoom shot. You can see the color is a little bit more faded as compared to the 3.5 times zoom. Now, further flexing some of the shots that I took, there are some of the animal shots which looks kind of cute. You can see that this one is a normal shot. This one is a 2 times zoom shot. Taking some green leafy photos, I can say these shots are really nice and it's clear and it's not saturated. Now, taking my camera to the base side, this is some of the really nice shots that I've taken. And you can see that there's a sunken ship. Taking some building landscape shots, this is how it looks like when you zoom yourself all the way. And this one is more epic. The famous Monumento uh, in Calvacan City. You can see the Monument of Andres Bonifacio is there. Uh, zooming all the way in, you look like close in. Now, if you guys want to see more shots that I posted, uh, check me out on my Facebook page at Gadget Sidekick. I'll be posting more photos there for you to enjoy. Now, taking ourselves indoor low light, taking some photo from a uh, product shot of the shoes here at Anta. And this one, I can say this is a very dramatic shot. I love the way that it was able to uh, reproduce this photo. It's really nice and uh, it looks real. And taking some food photography, well, this food really looks yummy. Some more food shots for you to enjoy. And taking some indoor low light shot inside the coffee shop. These are some of the great photos that I've taken. Now, how about let's play with our super macro camera. This is one of those telephoto macro camera, which I found really useful when you want to really take a peek at what's in there. And you can see that some of these shots are really close in shot using the super macro camera. And uh, taking a look at how how it looks like uh, on my cookie, on my oatmeal cookie. Now this is the chair that I'm sitting on and this is how it looks when you zoom it in. And this is the basket, abaca, then zooming it in. How about some coffee beans? And zooming in. And this one is epic, my favorite, tarot path. Zooming in, looks like this. And I just came from a machine shop and uh, taking a look at the floor, there are some uh, steel scraps. Would you even believe that these are steel scraps? It was able to produce these camera shots really nice and I don't even believe that these are steel scraps. Now it's about time to play with the night photography. So uh, yeah, I did try to use this camera to take in some really nice shots uh, in, this, in the city. Uh, well, uh, on top of the bridge is how my shots looks like when it's at night. And it was really nice, was able to reproduce some of this really nice shot. And this is uh, in Quezon City. And this is a nighttime 10 o'clock shot from Santo Domingo Church, which really looks epic. And even using the zoom lens. A quick shout out to my good friend Basin for sharing these two awesome shots that I'm showing you right now. Uh, it's a moon shot uh, somewhere in DGC and it really looks nice. As long as you have tall buildings and lightings, I think these shots will be more dramatic as compared to taking shots here in Quezon City. Zooming all the way 100 times for a full moon shot looks something like this. But since it's too big to for my screen, let's just crop it to 80. Looks nice. And this is some of those astrophotography shots that you would love to share since you were able to catch in some stars over here. And this is a night shot that I probably love. And you can see that this is the starburst effect that the uh, mechanical aperture of P60 Pro has. Going inside the church to take some night mode photos, this is how it looks. <laughs> and even the sunset shots are really breathtaking. Of course, how can we forget the front-facing camera, uh, be it in indoor, outdoor, this camera was able to perform, taking me some really nice shots that I want to keep and keep taking a look at uh, on my phone. And I can say that P60 Pro has one of the best camera that I've ever tried so far. Now, how about let's check out some videos that I have here. You see the front-facing camera and the rear camera on 4K. So guys, right now I'm holding the Huawei P60 Pro using just my bare hand. And of course, this is the 0.8x ultra wide lens. And right now, let's use the wide lens. And this is how it looks like. Then of course, the one-time zoom. So, so upon panning, I can say it's quite stable, recording a 4K and 60 FPS. This is probably one of the flagships that you will really want to use if you're recording using some TikTok videos or just simply vlogging outdoors. And what can you say? The audio is using the default microphone.
So how about that? The front facing camera and the rear camera taking 4K shots. Definitely it's very nice, breathtaking and really sharp. And I really enjoyed every moment that I spent co together with the P60 Pro taking be it on photo or on video. And these are some really sharp uh, videos that you would really love to share with your family and friends on social media. So after playing with this phone for nearly three weeks dito sa aking studio, so what are my personal experience dito sa phone na ito? First of all, gusto gusto ko ng quad curved screen dahil it gives me the better swiping experience not only from left to right but up and down. Secondly, I love its design dahil sobra siyang slick and it's only weighing at around mga 200 grams. Pretty, pretty lightweight for a flagship. And thirdly, this is the best camera that I've tried so far. For this year, it even surpassed yung expectations ko na meron ko kay Mate 50 Pro. This one, lalo lang kanya night mo, ay grabe, sobrang ganda ng mga shots na nakukuha ko dito sa kanya. Ang only pagkukulang dito sa phone na ito is that yung kanyang gaming experience pagdating sa Genshin Impact, kapag feel mo medyo magta-throttle siya and may mga frame drops siya along the way pag lagpas ka ng mga 30 minutes. But this one, I believe it can be corrected through a future firmware update. Now, if you're out there in the market looking for a great camera that can take you good shots, night mode, and of course, really great video, I think P60 Pro is the one for you. And up next, I'll be pitting this phone together with an iPhone. So stay tuned. If you have any question, you can pop it on the description box below. And if you like this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and of course, hit that bell icon so you don't miss any future uploads here from my channel. And so, I'm Parasir Richmond, and you're watching Gadget Sidekick. Watch out! like and subscribe to my channel don't forget to hit that notification bell for one of my latest uploads click the dito and for one of my popular uploads click here